I decided to do a series on digital art, even though, disclaimer, I'm not the best at digital art, I'm not the worst either, I'm like, okay, that was not reassuring. You have been warned. So today we are going to talk about digital artwork, more specifically tablets. Your tablet is what lets you draw digitally. A lot of people do this, is they draw with um, a mouse or one of my friends will take um, a pencil, the eraser end, or just like a blunt object stick and put it on her trackpad and that's how she draws digitally. But most people agree that the easiest way is to use a tablet. Pressure sensitivity is what you get for free when you're drawing. It's when you press harder on the paper with a pencil and the line becomes thick and dark and when you release the pressure and you are using a lighter hand, the line is thinner and lighter. Um, now you get this for free in the real world, but in the digital world you have to pay a considerable amount of money to have that privilege. I should clarify, I'm not being sponsored by any tablet companies, these are my own opinions, and I don't know a lot about every kind of tablet on the market. I've used a couple different ones. So I have the Intuos Pen & Touch, this is a small, and the pen right here, I don't know if it's going to focus, please do. Um, this is the pen, I don't know how to explain it, but when you're drawing and you press down, it feels a little bit like it's giving in because the nib is um, retractable. And this is the eraser. And same thing with the eraser. This is the tablet itself. So what you do is you draw or whatever, and then you can erase. Um, this is a pen and touch, which means I can also like touch it, but honestly, I don't really use the touch option that much. So if you wanted a cheaper option, you could just get the pen. This tablet was $99.99, also known as it's $100. This is definitely expensive. If you want a tablet, in Waco makes some good ones of the same line that are somewhere around 60 70 That would be cheaper. I would not go any cheaper than that. Um, they sell like kids' tablets at Best Buy for $30. You think you're getting a deal, but you're not. It's for kids to play with. It's really bad. There are more expensive options. There are tablets that go up to $1,000. And I don't know if I'm saying this right, because I've never even used one before. But um, Cintiq, I think, Cintiq tablets, that's when it's like a screen, like an iPad, and you're drawing on the screen, but the screen has pressure sensitivity. And I think it's probably better for professionals, and so for fun, a hundred dollar tablet is a good investment. There is an alternative option, and this is mostly for people with iPads, sorry Windows users. If you have an iPad, and you have an iPad Pro specifically, you get pressure sensitivity. If you use like the Apple Pen, uh, there is a $20 app in the App Store that promises to turn your iPad Pro into something comparable to a Cintiq tablet. What you do is you hook it up to your computer and your Photoshop like appears on your iPad. And by Photoshop, I don't mean the Photoshop app. I mean the Photoshop computer version, full like bells and whistles, everything that is on Photoshop you get on your iPad and then you can draw with pressure sensitivity. If you already have an iPad Pro, that might be a good thing for you. If you don't have a tablet and you seriously want to draw digitally um, on a computer, get a tablet because the pressure sensitivity is really important. We take it for granted, but you shouldn't. It's like once you don't have it, you're like, oh crap, I really need that back. I hope this was educational in any way and I don't look like a crazy person just talking to a camera alone in my room.